Hello chicas, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing great. Today we're working with this design, so then let's begin. We're going to be using this uh, Valentino Nude, which is number 11. And we're also going to be using this red that I created myself. And also we're going to be using this other glitter that I made myself as well. And it's just like an orangey glitter. Also number 3 from the Otoño collection from Fantasy Nails. You can find them on Nails Blinked. And you also can find um, Fantasy Nails products on Amazon. I've seen them there and eBay. So yes chicas, this color I named it Cranberry because honestly it just looks like Cranberry um so that's how i named it i know it doesn't have a name but i'm gonna go ahead and make it with my little label maker and stick it on there you guys so i'm gonna be applying this color here onto my index in what index finger and also onto my pinky finger um i love this color you guys um this is one of my favorite colors to use in the fall time it's just perfect i love it i just love the deep reds the burgundies you know the wine colors i love them um. so yeah this color is gonna go onto my index finger and also my pinky finger uh really he really quick here I, I just wanted to mention you guys i'm so sorry about you know this whole clip of me applying the acrylic it's gonna look a little washed off i don't know what was going on with my phone i don't know if i messed around with something i was playing around with the settings last time um but it's gonna get better like towards the end of the video so i'm so sorry about that you guys um i really hope you guys can actually see like the colors true to color like how they really are because honestly this is what the colors really look like so that's what i really kind of liked about it um but you know like the rest like 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 the background and stuff really looks washed out i'm so sorry uh but anyway um i'm gonna be applying the number three from fantasy nails here onto my middle finger and i really love working with fantasy nails you guys even though like their small collections like it's like a quarter of an ounce or something but um i'm pretty sure that you can like if you're like running low like let's say the little containers halfway i'm pretty sure that you can add a little bit of crystal clear and it'll go right up to like full um i don't know you guys but i really do like it um you can find them on ebay and amazon i'm sure there's other websites i'm sure that you can google it you know fantasy nails um usa or something you know what i mean and i'm sure that there's other people that sell them I know there's a lot of sellers on Facebook. I don't have Facebook, you guys, but I've heard that there's a lot of sellers on Facebook that sell this brand. Um, so it is a Mexican brand. So um, I guess you would have to find a retailer. I'm not sure, you guys, but for sure, for sure, eBay has them. So yeah, chicas. Now onto my ring finger, I'm gonna be applying my nude which is a darker nude from the number six that i usually use from valentino um i really love working with these two nudes you guys the number 11 and the number six um they're just two beautiful nudes and i just really like them for like my skin tone since i'm more like on the brown biscuit side um i do like it more for my skin tone uh skin tone what skin tone but yes, chicas, I'm just going to be applying it here, you know, trying to make it as perfect as I can. Um, try not to get any on my skin because, you know, if you get acrylic on your skin, it's going to, your nails going to start lifting. Trust me, you're going to have lifting issues and your clients are going to come in and be like, my nail popped off, you know, the second day and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So you don't want to have those kind of issues, you guys. Just make sure that you're not touching, you know, the skin around the, around the cuticle area with the acrylic. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to be applying some of this glitter that I made. Um, you know, just some of it. Not a whole bunch, you guys. I'm just going to be using maybe like three or four little glitters here and there. And then on top, I'm going to be adding some of these red 
uh, fall leaves I'm not using orange or any other color I'm using red so I'm gonna be applying them here very simple you guys um, and that is pretty much it that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing to the nails you guys I wanted a deep red design with this um, like mustardy color is a lot darker than a mustard you guys so yeah now I'm gonna be capping the whole um, design and because we don't want to you know whenever we come and file the design we don't want to mess anything around that we don't want to you know remove any of that color any of that glitter any of that you guys so just make sure you go ahead and cap and it also saves your acrylic colors so yeah um and then i went ahead and filed and buffed off camera i highly suggest you guys cover up all of your acrylics whenever you go ahead and uh file your nails or your client's nails make sure that everything is well um capped well not capped but you know sealed and closed all your acrylic acrylics are sealed and closed because you know though that little powder that you're filing off the nails are gonna start getting into your acrylics and then you're gonna mess up all of, all of your acrylics and honestly you guys that's just contaminating them and we don't want to do that we don't want to mess up our acrylics they're super expensive so just make sure you go ahead and close everything down before you go ahead and file so now i'm gonna go ahead and add some crystals um and for this i'm using the dip oh my god i don't remember you guys but um it's it's um the resin that comes in with the dip system um so i'm using that for my crystals because the one from zulai closed on me like literally sealed on me and won't open so i had to throw that to the trash it was literally not opening i had i was putting cuticle oil to see if, like it will kind of open it didn't it didn't work so i had to throw it so i'm using this one it's been working fine you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and buy another um another resin maybe the mia secret i don't know i'll see maybe i'll just stick to this one and then just so that everything um dries i'm gonna be spraying a little bit of this um hurry up uh spray glue or i don't know you saw it you guys <laughs> i'm sorry and then i'm gonna be top coating everything using koopa's top coat which is very pretty and very shiny so i'm gonna be top coating all of the design um and then i'm gonna pop that in the lamp for about 60 seconds and then once that comes out of the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cuticle oil. Don't forget your cuticle oil, you guys. Um, trust me, you do not want to have crusty cuticles. So make sure you cap every... You cap. What am I talking about? I can't talk today, you guys. So make sure you go ahead and add your cuticle oil. So yeah, this is the end result, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here um i really highly appreciate each and every one of you without you guys i wouldn't be here I, my channel wouldn't be where it's at right now so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart thank you and i can't say thank you enough <laughs> so yeah chicas if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and if you're not new don't forget to like comment and share the video please 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 share the video so yeah chicas i'll catch you guys on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye